Now the state of the state address. Tonight, Governor Don Cherry will deliver his final speech, concentrating on the much-needed creation of jobs in Rhode Island. Iowa News reporter Walt Buteau joins us now live outside the State House from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Members of the General Assembly are starting to enter the House chambers, and they are in there right now getting ready for a regular session. And meanwhile, downstairs, one floor down, a group is protesting about what 12.9% of the state is protesting about. They're protesting about that there aren't enough jobs in the state. So that's going on downstairs. The speech will be delivered in this room as the governor talks about his past seven years, and he'll look at least one year into the future. State of the state number eight will mention the predicted deficits, but also focus on what can be done in the governor's final year to boost the economy. Expect a folksy theme about what's good in the state. There is a lot of history of independence and entrepreneurial spirit that the governor will tap into tonight and also talk about what the state has done in the last several years to build a strong foundation. He will talk about job creation, support for small business, and how he sees the future of Rhode Island. The governor, though, will also talk about his own history. Particularly in higher education, um, in the environment, and certainly in renewable energy. So we have built a strong foundation to which we can build upon. And now what is really important is working with our small businesses and providing them the tools that they need to start hiring people again and to start to grow their business. The heavily populated other side of the General Assembly aisle has criticized the governor for being divisive at times. Kachiri may not address that in his final state of the state, but... The governor's number one priority for the last eight years has been jobs in the economy. He often runs up against a brick wall here in this building with a democratically controlled General Assembly. And tonight at 6, we will take a slice of opinions from the many out there who are looking for work right now. They'll tell us what they want to hear from the governor and the General Assembly. Live inside the State House in Providence with the Mobile News from Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the State of the State Address. You can watch Governor Kachiri's speech live right here on WPRI 12 and streaming on WPRI.com tonight starting at 7. Plus, we'll have a reaction to the governor's proposals tonight on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11.